up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. I'll be breaking down Vicente Luque versus Jeff Neal. This is a fight that I felt like they should have made in 2019, a while back, actually, when Vicente was coming off his win over Mike Perry and Jeff Neal was coming off his win over Mike Perry. So both guys at that time had a lot of hype. Uh, you know, a lot of people thought Jeff Neal was actually the better out of the two, and I always kind of felt like Vicente could outwork him, break him, and then beat him. Uh, they have somewhat similar resumes before uh vicente ended up fighting guys like t wood or michael chiesa right but um but yeah man uh, besides that they have pretty pretty good uh resumes the only weird thing going into this matchup that really does shock me is i forgot jeff neal beat Bilal muhammad which is aged pretty well for him uh and then also vicente is coming off a loss of Bilal, uh so that's interesting um but I like the matchup. It's it's a good scrap. Both guys are strikers. Both guys like to knock people out. Um, Jeff Neal would probably have somewhat of a power advantage. And I would give uh, Vicente more of a durability advantage in there. So it's going to be a good fight. I like it. It's going to be a good one. Uh, let's look at the stats, though. Uh, Vicente comes with a, re a record of 21-8. and eight. Uh, He's fighting out of Brazil. Or actually, he's not fighting out of Brazil. He's fighting out of Florida. Coconut Creek, Florida, age 30. I had a 5'11 and I reached a 75.5. Uh, Jeff Neal, 14 and 4, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, age 31, uh, a height of 5'11, and a reach of 75. So, not much of a reach advantage for Luke 75.5, but you know, that 0.5 might give him a chance. It's a good fight, it's a good scrap. I like it. In terms of the rankings, look, look, let me look at the rankings actually where these guys are ranked. Let me go search it up real quick. Um, Oh my, hold up, uh, Vicente number six, and Jeff Neal's number 13, wow, I did not know Jeff Neal was that low, that is crazy, so yeah, this is a good opportunity for Jeff Neal to get back in that mix, um, but yeah, man, they match up pretty well with each other, uh, resume wise, you know, Jeff Neal, he's beating Nico Price, he's beating Bilal Muhammad, uh, he's beating, um, who else did he beat? Oh, Ponza Nibio. That was a good win for him. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Mike Perry. He's beating some good guys, actually. I'm trying to think of some other guys he's beaten. I don't know why it's uh, leaving my head. But, um, but yeah, I think those might be the best guys he's beaten. The, the Ponza Nibio fight was a really, really good fight. Underrated scrap, actually. It was so close. But that, that third round, they were going back and forth. But that last minute... It just felt like Jeff Neal was just putting on the pressure. And, man, I understand why they gave it to Neal. It was a really close fight. You can't be mad at it. Um, he Neal does have some losses, though, against Magny. <laughs> God damn. I don't know what's going on outside. Uh, and then Wonder Boy, right? Uh, the Magny fight, that was a bad look for him. I actually predicted Magny beat him. Um, I know everyone used to talk about Neil's like leg kicks the whole entire fight week. I remember saying, "Oh, he's gonna chop down Magny's legs." And I'm like, I've never seen him throw a leg kick. I've seen him throw high kicks and body kicks, but never leg kicks. He's not a leg kick guy. Uh, and I was just very confident he wasn't gonna do that against Magny. And Magny just outworked him. He fucking, you know, he magnied him. Uh, <laughs> you know, like he put that cardio on him and the clinch work, all the stuff, like the body kicks, the output. Magny just outworked him and was able to just get that one out of the way. Um, but, yeah, and then Neil, when he fought Wonder Boy, right, he got completely styled on. So that was five rounds of just domination. It was a beautiful fight, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. But, I mean, it is what it is with, at the end of the day with Jeff Neal. Like, I know some people think the motorcycle accident was the reason why he hasn't looked as good. But I, I feel like personally, like, he just... He's too low output, and and against Ponzinibbio, he did have... He, he, <laughs> I am sorry, guys, for the distractions outside. He did have some high output <laughs> in that fight, but most of the time he's low output, uh, and he kind of relies on one shot, so... And he, he does have knockout power, but that's about it. Luke, on the other hand, he has fought in a lot of good guys, and he has a pretty good resume. You know, beating Michael Chiesa. Uh, you already know how I feel about my guy Chiesa. Beat T. Wood, former champ. Uh, he was in there with Wonder Boy. Like, he's fought a lot of good guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
he has that win over what's his face? Uh, Perry. I almost forgot about him. I'm trying to think. Like he was on a long win streak. He also beat Nico Price too twice. Um, am I missing anybody? I feel like I'm missing somebody, right? Am I missing anybody? I feel, he's beaten a lot of good guys though. No matter what. Oh, he beat Randy Brown, which was a really good win. That was a really underrated win for him. Uh, he's beaten some really good kids. The T Wood and probably the Kiesa fight was probably his best performances uh getting those submissions back to back but but yeah man I, that was a phenomenal phenomenal performance against Kiesa uh, he in my opinion he kind of lucked out a little bit Kiesa probably would have beat him if if Kiesa didn't get caught but um it was a good fight it was a good fight while it lasted and he looked good in there uh against T Wood he looked good but yeah he's coming off that loss of Bilal Muhammad and Bilal just really took him down uh and was was able to use the threat of the takedown to set up his strikes and just win the fight, man. You got to give respect to where respect is due. Bilal had a really good performance. I know a lot of people don't like Bilal, and I'm not the biggest fan of him, but he doesn't deserve some of the hate he gets, in my opinion. I think he's kind of like a little overhated, but um, he won that fight and completely exposed uh, Vicente's wrestling game, and he he won that fight like there were moments where Bilal got hurt don't get it twisted but like Luke all I oh, mean all he had in that fight was just his jab and his hook and that's it and his leg kicks but besides that the takedowns the feints everything Bilal did in there he Bilal was like I don't know it was weird like he was actually out striking in moments out, out boxing Luke and he looked really good like he looked phenomenal in there it was a really good scrap actually uh and a, he just had a good fight um so you got to give what respect is due uh and yeah he's coming off that loss and Luke needs to win bad uh but in my opinion I just feel like Luke's his durability and his striking should just be better than Jeff Neal uh, I don't think Neal can put you know present any wrestling threats because he's not a wrestler Obviously, there is a chance where Luke has taken too much damage, and then finally his chin gets cracked, and I could see that. And maybe Jeff Neal might drop him, but I just always feel like in this kind of scenario against a guy like Neal, he's he's going to break. He almost broke uh, against Nico Price. If you guys remember, Nico dropped him. Nico almost had him, and then it was this bullshit ground and pound thing that, I mean, it's 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 Nico's fault, but it's just some, it's some bullshit that happened in that fight, and... In my opinion, he kind of just got like caught low key. Um, I don't think Vicente is going to be in that same situation. I think Vicente beats Jeff Neal pretty easily. But yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the breakdown. Love y'all and goodbye. Your boy eBay is out of here.